fellow YouTube and fellow Star Wars collectors. On this episode of Toys Are The Way, we'll be setting up some action figure photography and taking a look at my Count Dooku Attack of the Clones diorama. If you're new to the channel or a fan of Star Wars collecting, be sure to smash a like on this video, remember to subscribe, and make sure to ring that bell to stay notified. And a special thank you to my channel members, your support is greatly appreciated. Welcome back everyone, in today's video I wanted to share some of my behind the scenes of recent vintage collection action figure photography. Here we have the all new from the ground up vintage collection Count Dooku VC 307 and I've got to say that this figure has been really fun to set up in a variety of different poses, dioramas and just you know take some photos with him. A really fantastic upgrade to our shelves and he has all the articulation you're gonna need for something like this so here you can see I have him in a nice casual walking stance as he shoots that force lightning at Obi-Wan and yeah a really really nice scene from Attack of the Clones and I was able to just really capture Count Dooku very well there and then here we have this older Attack of the Clones Obi-Wan figure, which is not so great in my opinion. It's definitely pretty outdated. It does have ball jointed hips, but no swivels of the thigh, no rocker ankles. Um, the arms are okay. And I was actually able to pull off this like photo because I actually replaced his hands with different uh, spares that I had from custom. So his right hand there is actually Cal Kestis's hand, which has a hinge at the wrist, which was able to, you know, just kind of tilt the lightsaber just perfectly with that arm posed like that to deflect the force lightning. And then his other hand is that open palm type of hand, which is actually a hand from a Hammond collection figure, the Owen, the recent Owen figure, which I was able to swap out. And that just really helped sell this scene. But yeah, Count Dooku is really the star here. And yeah, I just wanted to take some more photos with this figure and show you kind of what I've been doing with it. And first things first, we have to take a look at these walls that I specifically built for this action figure photography. And they are very simple modular pieces that can be kind of just propped up and connected in the corner there. So very simple stuff. I made them using the one inch foam that you can get at Home Depot and also some of this, I think it's a quarter inch or a half inch foam core board that you know you can get at any art and hobby store and yeah very simple stuff to use so the larger foam I used to make this arch pretty much cut it to size cut it out and then scored it to give it a little bit more of that geonosis detail and then I also used pieces to make these vertical strips and the horizontal strips and just kind of get that uh, design that they had going on there. These are supposed to have some like engravings on them but I did not want to go for that screen accuracy just because it would have been very time uh, consuming and like I kind of wanted to do this very quickly and get to the photography part of this. The only thing I will say is that I did use the uh, foam to cut out some other pieces and then cut them to like really organic shapes to make these rock formations which I then had individual pieces hot glued them on there and then covered everything in grout kind of like covered up all those little like negative spaces and I think that looks really 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 nice did the same thing on the other levels and a little bit in some of the corners and that really I think sells this uh, diorama I also then of course spray painted this with rust-oleum cinnamon and then dry brushed it with you know just my weathering mix of pretty much like some green brown and black paint all mixed together just a very light dry brushing nothing too heavy you know geonosis is a very dry climate so it doesn't need to be too like muddy looking or anything like that and then this wall is actually the same as this wall which is just one of my backdrops that I have from various different like photography sets and I kind of was not using it as much as I would so I just decided to cover it with grout give it these horizontal accents and just you know use it for something else and recycle you always want to recycle in some of these situations so that's pretty much it in terms of like what I built for this and then the floor is the same one that I used in my Millennium Falcon uh, diorama that I posted recently definitely check out that video but all it is is just some garage sale signs that have been spray painted on the back and then weathered up to my liking so a very simple uh, display here and yeah really like what I got going on and I do like this scene, but I think it's time to set up one last scene with this diorama before I take everything down. Moving on, it's time to take some different pictures. I've already done Anakin, I've done Obi-Wan, now it's time to do Master Yoda. So let's get these figures out of here and bring in some other ones that are pre-posed and ready for this scene. So here's what I'm thinking. We got Count Dooku doing a bit of a lower strike because Yoda is rather small. And we have a pre-posed Yoda here, which I'm kind of going to... 
I'm not sure I'm going to really have imposed quite yet. Something like that, maybe. I don't know. So I wasn't entirely happy with how Yoda was looking in that previous setup. I wanted to add a bit more movement and action to this scene. So I opted to suspend him on that wire, give him a little bit more of a leaping stance. And I think this is going to be a much more captivating photo. So with that being said, let's kill the lights in here and get that Attack of the Clones vibe going. 